We all know how amazing it can be for our business's growth potential if we are to get raving fans and clients that just feel like they've had their socks knocked off to go above and beyond. And there's a little thing that we did recently that absolutely knocked the client's socks off for ourselves. And I wanted to make sure that I gave that piece of value to you guys so you can do the same thing with each of your clients. Let's get stuck in right now. So as we're all aware, uh, the world has changed significantly in the last couple of months. We've had a huge amount of challenges. We've had lockdown. We've got isolation. We've got, uh, you know, everything from riots through to economic hardship, people losing jobs. We've got, look, we've got a plethora of avenues and challenges and speed bumps happening. Everything has been completely turned on its head. There's a lot of heightened emotion and all of these things happening. Now, one of the things that was directly... Uh, probably most challenging for us on the coaching side of things and the business development side was that we run, oh, well, just in Australia alone, if we just take one industry of, say, Allied Health in Australia, we run four events for our clients, for our tribe, our membership tribe, every year. So they're two-day events uh, that we run with guest presenters face-to-face -face in different capital cities, and we also run a third day for people that have been with us for more than uh, more than a year in our A-team and boardrooms and things like that. And so when COVID hits and we can't do face-to-face, -face, well, we had to obviously you know, be quite agile and we needed to make some pivots. And so we moved into a digital platform. And so we've been able to do this uh, around the world in a couple of my different companies in different industries from cosmetics through to medical through to accounting, etc. And so when we have done that, it's been very, very powerful and very, very well received in that digital framework. But here's the thing, in the health industry in Australia, we haven't had a business development focused uh, symposium, conference, and nothing of this nature has been done uh, before we actually did it. And so we wanted to make sure that people realized as well that it wasn't a, a, a virtual thing. It was actually happening. It was exactly the same as them actually having to, uh, you know, fly into state, spend a couple of days with friends, get flights, get accommodation, fly their team in, you know, keep, uh, change around the diary so that they had different, um, uh, staffing levels in their business while they're away from their clinic as well. So when you stop and think about it, stepping away from your business, if you're only got, you know, one or two team members, or maybe it's just yourself, then again, it can still be quite challenging, even if you've got five or six full-time team members for you to be able to step away for three days or four days. You know, for by the time you um, finish up with clients, for instance, uh, you know, get yourself to the airport, travel, stay a few days, get all the benefit, come home, spend time on the weekend with your family and get back into it. It's a fairly decent commitment. And so we wanted to make sure that we gave as much value as we possibly could. And we realized that we had to go above and beyond. We couldn't just have people feel like they were going to uh, be sitting online on Zoom for two days straight, because let's be honest, people would fall asleep. Um, not because of uh, us not doing great things and entertaining sections of that, but we had to make sure that we completely changed it up, flipped it on its head, redid the structure, uh, the actual model of what we work off, the framework of sessions, the strategy behind it, the engagement, the implementation, the breakout rooms, everything was completely done differently. But one of the things we identified was the fact of people love free stuff. We love going to expos and getting the bag of goodies. We love, I mean, heck, we go to the Easter show as kids and we get all the, you know, the Bertie Beetle show bag and stuff like that. We love to get free pens. We love to get anything that's just knickknacks, etc. But we also need to make sure that if we're going to be able to get the most amount of engagement from 
uh, our tribe, so our clients, our team members, our colleagues, etc., that we need to go above and beyond to really drive that. And so we identified very, very quickly that we needed to do basically a care package. And that's what we called it. A care package that individually got dropped and delivered to them only a couple of days before conference. All right. So picture this. Rather than having a perception that you're going to be bored out of your brain, sitting on a Zoom call, and being in a situation where you're tired, you're listening to someone ramble on, it's not going to be engaging, it's going to be boring. So many people are just sick of doing online uh, webinars and having all these pop-up gurus in every industry during the COVID isolation period wanting to do free webinars, etc. We needed to make sure that we not only made people aware of what we we're doing and how different this was going to be, but how we were going to stay ahead of the curve and how we were going to be able to demonstrate that, drive people's excitement, get their engagement levels ready so that we could hit the ground running. And I can tell you right now, we absolutely blew people's socks off prior to us even starting the conference, right? And the conference was absolutely freaking amazing. It only happened really recently and um, uh, it was absolutely unreal. The feedback people were just like going, why do we actually want to go face to face for things? And so we're completely changing our model moving forward as well to add even more benefit. But let me get back to the care package. We decided that people love free stuff. We knew that. We know that. But we also understood that nothing is better than having the postman deliver presents, deliver things that we bought. I mean, heck, every single one of us have probably smashed our credit card through isolation with deliveries from Amazon, um, all our retail stores. You know, I mean, I know what it's like for my team. I know what it's like for our clinics. I know what it was like for our uh, so many of our clients, my family and friends. We were all spending a load more money online. And we were actually, there was actually a one week period in our clinic where on average there was three deliveries from some type of courier or post every single day, right? And you sit there and they go, that's crazy. Like, okay, I was probably 70% of those, but that's beside the point. The fact of the matter is, is that everyone's online spending. We were charging on the credit cards. We were loving it. And so much it was super fun because we get to open presents every day, right? We love opening presents on Christmas. We love, you know, even if we're pretty sure we know what it could be, it was fun. It's awesome. And so what I found was that so many of us were actually buying multiple avenues or multiple supplies, products, gifts, presents, knickknacks that and I, I know that I was one of them through Amazon that was buying a lot. And so I was every day, two or three days a week, I was getting something delivered from Amazon. And I wasn't actually sure exactly which one it was today. I had new big screen uh, monitors and all sorts of stuff coming in that was still probably a dead giveaway when you get a big box. But it's still the fun of getting something, maybe not knowing 100% what it is and being able to open up. It's like your birthday every single day. And so what we did was we wanted to capture that and we went, well, how simple ultimately is it at the end of the day for us to put together a care package that was personalized to each individual person? And so that's what we did. We even went as far as we bought the boxes. We had them flat packed. They all went through to my executive assistant and Deb went and put them together with her family over the course of two days. And we got out just over a hundred of these individuals individualized care packages to each one of our conference attendees. All the clients that we work with got their own package delivered. And so what we actually did was we went, well, hang on, if we're trying to take a real life face-to-face -face conference experience and we're wanting to just value add, make people feel like they are at a conference, it's just done visually through a monitor, not visually at the round tables. And so what we actually did is we, and I won't go through it all, but we put together the simple things like the Mentos and the M&Ms and all of the little knickknacks that they would be having at their table. We put in the pads, we put in pens, right? We put in personalized pens that we had made for the profitable practice and we had that in there. We actually went ahead and went, hang on, they have coffee and tea. Now I'm a bit of a coffee snob like I know a lot of people are, so I wasn't gonna try and guess the right bean or guess 
instant coffee crap. So I went, I'm not doing coffee, but I will do tea. We had little tea bags. Um, it put in little, uh, t little, uh, little gift bag type of things in there as well. We got, we made sure that everyone, some people use their iPads and Surface Pros with our electronic work booklets to circle things, draw it out and do their notes electronically. But some people love the paper and pen scenario and to do it in workbooks. So everyone got a workbook in hard copy shipped to them. We had all of the big wall planners and the A3s and A2 fold outs that were in there as well. So everything that we had to build out their plans, to uh, do the review process, to implement with our guest speakers was actually put into that care package. We had all the food, we had, in fact, we even went as far as putting in a spiky ball. One of my companies, we bring in products from overseas. We actually put in a spiky ball so that if they were sitting for a long period of time, like for an hour or something like that, not only did we have engagement strategies to make sure people were moving around, etc., but we actually gave that to them so they could put that behind themselves on their back or their chair, roll their foot on and on the ground. We even went, hang on, if we're going to give them tea or we're going to ask them to have a coffee or water and et cetera, and mints, et cetera, there that we give them, they've got to have a cup. So we actually got personally made keep cups, really good double walled glass keep cups that they actually had shipped. We even gave them pads of post-it notes. We gave them Sharpies. We gave them really nice uh, pens to work with. Like literally, it was the ultimate care package. It had food, it had drinks in it, it had uh, golden tickets for them to get into certain rooms and breakout rooms. We even did an online uh, concert for our tribe dinner. So we actually got the, it all organized for them. I organized a good friend of mine that runs a band to be actually playing during that time period. We had all of that there with QR codes, so they physically could get their phone or their iPad, just scan that straight away and would open up the new room. Every time something happened, it was a step-by-step -step process. We had every single piece of paper in order that they would need to be utilizing, and we had all of that bubble wrapped nicely into a box. And to make it even more personalized, we got a stamp that was like 12 centimeters by 16 centimeters that was like the side of a, a, a crate that might, you know, computer game might fall from the sky with a care package type thing that might be stamped on the side or embroidered, not embroidered, but um, in, um, embossed on the side. We had that done a bit of that rustic tribe type thing because we are a tribe. And we had that on the side saying the care package from the profitable practice stamped onto all four sides of the box. So just imagine this. You're working hard, changing lives. Where Lives are upside down a little bit at the moment because of isolation, because of COVID-19 restrictions. Your business might be partly operating, fully operating, not operating, loads of different complications for the health industry. And you're trying to get pumped up for when you might have been going, because we were actually going to be on the Gold Coast as well. Beautiful, sunny, middle of winter, on the Gold Coast, having a great time up there. Now, we can't do that. We can't travel for that. So how do you pump people up in that scenario? Well, you knock their socks off. You look at what people love and what people want. They want the joy of opening gifts. They want to just be able to go, oh, that's cool. That's fantastic. Open up presents, right? So we physically got a care package. Now it was really simple to do. Don't ask Deb. She might go, hey, it was a pain in the backside putting a hundred of these together. But it was actually very simple to do, very easy to do. We had all of the uh, the little cards, all of the handouts, everything we needed to be done from our printers and that delivered to her place. We had all the products delivered there. We had the boxes, the stamps, the pens, the food. We had everything delivered to the one place. And then in a matter of about eight hours over two days, two lots of four hours, we were able to get all this done, send it out. And you know what? Yeah. We spent probably 90 something dollars on each participant. But here's the thing, we absolutely knocked their socks off. Every single one of them loved it. They opened them up, people were taking pictures, doing little video clips because they, and we didn't tell them, they knew, sorry, they knew they were getting a care package, but we didn't tell them what exactly was in it. They didn't know they were gonna get products. They didn't know they were gonna get a keep cup that they can use every single day from now on. They didn't actually know they were getting the actual, all the pens, all the stationery, they knew they were getting a workbook and other goodies, etc. They didn't know they were getting all the food. But you know how much people actually reached out to us and said, that was amazing, that was awesome. We had people saying, it's like Christmas. It was like my birthday, opening up a present that I got. All right? And that's the thing. That's how easy it is to knock someone's socks off, to drive loyalty, to have people loving what you do before you've even done it. 
right? We were building hype and excitement and engagement for an event that we we're running several days later. So we already had them switched on, ready to rumble, ready to engage, to get more out of it, to be really excited for this event. And granted, we did actually deliver. We delivered over and above and it was epic. But it was super easy to get people pumped and primed for that, to get people's loyalty, to get people online, get people engaged and make that happen. And all we did was we put together a care package that was individualized to them, that made them feel, right, that it was all about them. We made people feel special. And as the saying goes, people won't remember what you said or what you did, but people will always remember how you made them feel. And if we could make them feel special, make them feel excited, make them feel like they were really you know, grateful to be a part of this, this is gonna be good fun, I can't wait, we created anticipation and excitement, then people were switched on, they're ready to go, and as a net result, they got more involved, they get more out of it, and we get a better result for them long-term, which means we've created more impact, all by taking a little bit of time to absolutely knock their socks off. Guys, we did it in a big way like that. It is super easy to do it within each of your clinics like we do. I'm gonna give you another podcast very soon about how we do it in our clinic as well, but a simple care package can knock people's socks off and drive people to not just know you, not just like you, but to love you, trust you, and that will breed long-term loyalty, which you can never buy in any other way. I'll talk to you again very soon. Hey guys, thank you very much for listening to another episode of the Profitable Practice Podcast. I would love nothing more than for you to be able to leave a review. I get so much joy out of listening and reading the amazing things that you guys say about this. So please subscribe to our channel, leave a review and share it with your friends. Let's get some more fantastic information out there so all of us can grow the industry together. Cheers for now.